Hi, this is Edward Mendoza, and today we're going to talk about how a computer science degree, whether online or whether um, you're learning it on the campus, can harm, can benefit, or can really make no difference whatsoever on your career path. Stay tuned. Chronos Matrix, focus on what matters most. Visually keep your goals in check and create new goals so you can stay on schedule. Watch your daily, weekly, and monthly results to stay focused. Free time optimization app. I think the biggest difference that most people are gonna see with, uh, with after getting the actual degree is obviously gonna be the sense of accomplishment, right? A sense of like, I finished something that I started. Um, it's a huge challenge because this is not an easy school. You're not going to meet any professor that's just going to help you out and get you out, yeah, you know, get you through the course. This it's going to be extremely rigorous, and ultimately, you're going to learn all the skills that you need on your actual job path. But here's one of the uh, the biggest problems that I kind of see that's already starting to happen to me. And I've noticed it with other students that they that they withdrew early. Um, the more skills that you gain by taking these classes and just all the personal projects you're gonna be working on, you're gonna have certain business ideas that you really just need to get to as soon as possible. And if you're going to any kind of school, I mean, this this was a real reason why you know Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg or Bill Gates dropped out of their uh, universities when they're you know, before they, they were finished. It's because it was such a sense of you had to be first of market, first of the market, right? It's like they had certain business opportunities that were presented to them. That's like, if they just kind of kept going through the school, they were gonna miss out on those huge opportunities and we probably wouldn't know them today, right? Um, so I, I mean, I recommend if you're seeing some great opportunity that might go away, um, obviously education should come second, right? Because that's the whole point of getting the education from the beginning. It's to get a degree so you can get a better, uh, um, a better job. Uh, I personally just came uh, um, from an angle of, I just wanted to improve on what I was doing. I was really interested in the challenge that OMSES provided. And I wanted to be the best programmer I could be, right? So I knew focusing on a master's degree and really pushing myself to that level, it would really get me where I wanted to go. And here I am not even, um, not even finishing the degree. And it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm at least where I, I was hoping I would be, um, at this point, um, which I thought at this point, you know, I'd have already finished the degree because I thought I was going to get in there in two and a half years or, or already be finished. Uh, but you know, life happens and for several different reasons, it's, it's definitely going to be taking me longer than that, but I'm not on a particular rush, but I am working on other projects, other applications, and other business models that I might just get too busy that OMSES might come to the sidelines. Now, a huge, huge benefit of OMSES is that you can take it with you, right? You can go to anywhere in the world, you can move, you're not constrained to a university. So this is where doing the online version of computer science, I think is so incredibly helpful. So not only now during, you know, a uh, horrific, horrific bug that's going around the world um, is in place where staying at home is definitely going to be safer anyway. Really the, the case in point is, you know, I'm moving around the whole world and I can keep doing this while I continue my education. Like that alone has been also huge. So there's been two semesters where it's like, I, I really just had to put everything on the side and you know, it's definitely, taking me longer because I'm doing that. But I had other projects, I had other businesses that I wanted to focus on. So that ability to kind of put a pause on the course, um, on the degree plan, and then get back into it later makes it so much more helpful also versus an on-campus um, situation, right? Because if you're going to a university, I mean, you can't replace that, right? How, how are you gonna continue going to these universities um, in a different country or anywhere else, right? They might have, some universities have um, like smaller versions of their universities. Like um, Georgia Tech actually has, uh, I believe in, in Shenzhen, they have a, another part of their university is in, is in that part of China. 
So, I mean, if you're going exactly in that area, well, then you could probably continue the on-campus experience in one way or another, but it's still not the same thing. Whereas all the traveling I've done, I've noticed no difference whatsoever. There's been this entire like lockdown everywhere where it's like we're not even allowed to you know, get on the air, airplanes or, or whatnot. And uh, I have noticed no difference whatsoever. And even the, the professors and the other students, it's like most people mention that. It's like it's for us, our lives hasn't changed much at all. Um, at least our educational lives, right? So that's a humongous benefit of doing the, the online education route. So everything has its pros and cons. And, you, know, you have to kind of work with what, what works with you best. But I really see any form of education, it is an opportunity cost as well, right? Because these are years that I could literally have been making much more money had I worked for other companies. Luckily, I'm already set up where I have you know, my businesses and I really didn't need the, uh, um, the extra money. But I was willing to take that sacrifice where it's like, no, I'm gonna sit down, really focus on this degree while working on some other projects, right? But I didn't have to put everything on hold as far as my work goes. And on semesters where I realized, okay, I have this great idea, I need to just, you know, focus on that. Um, then I can put, put my education on pause. So, which again, I'll probably do another video on, on just the taking your time, going for that long, going for the long haul, um, I think is, is optimal. Um, unless you need to just pop it out quickly and, you know, you already have a business where just having the degree changes your life. If, if that's the case, you just need that degree and you already have the 10 years of, or 20 years of, of work experience. And I met quite a few programmers that were in that case, you know, then that, that's, that's a, a way to go around it also. So again, I'm not saying certain things are, 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 are the best solution. It just depends what's the best solution for you. So I see that as kind of an issue. Another problem that I'm seeing with um, some students that are already finishing the degree is that since they were several years working on, on their masters, right after they got out of the, um, their, uh, their undergraduate um, degree, they still don't have real world um, experiences as, as, uh, as a programmer, as a you know, web developer, as pretty much anything else. Because they just spent the years going to, you know, uh, getting their bachelor's, then they got out of the bachelor's and then went straight into um, the OMS program. And now that they've finished, now they're trying to get a job and it's much harder because most of these companies are going to look for actual experience, like I mentioned earlier. So if you can do both, which that's the great part of OMS CS, right? You can, since you can take it with you, you can go to other parts of the country, other countries altogether and get programming jobs or get more experience, you know, in, in other, uh, in other ways while you're working on the degree. So that idea of just focusing on the degree, it's like, I don't really recommend it because then you get out and you're, you're almost starting, you're not starting from scratch. And a, a lot of these big name companies will come, you know, they're on the foreign, uh, they're on the uh, forums and they're, they're asking students who would be interested in, in, um, in, in getting hired in, in, uh, uh, for, a certain, um, um, for certain positions. Uh, that's something I see every semester. There's um, some big names in the tech industry that are looking for you know more people in uh for certain positions and you know george Zeck knows it's like well like, they might lose some students that way but it's uh either way it's great motivation for all of us too because then we see it's like well you know we're definitely going to be looking at, at um at getting jobs in some really really good um companies afterwards um so, but that's where i see it it's it kind of might be interplay at least initially it might be kind of um, something in the middle because if you'd spent the last three or four years actually working in industry getting a job anywhere is going to be much much easier than if you just have the uh, the degree in any university with absolutely no business uh, um, experience so that's why the best thing is to actually have both if you have both if you have industry experience if you worked on projects if you can show that you know what you're doing and you have you know a master's degree in uh um, at, at a really, really high prestigious school like Georgia Tech, you just have so many more options available to you, right? So if you can do all of it, well, that would, that would be the best, honestly. And I see all these different types of, uh, of methods as very long-term kind of commitments, right? So if you can commit long-term, it's going to pay off. I mean, 
I wasn't even thinking of getting hired at another company. I was just thinking of how do I build my own software, my own, uh, my own games, my own um, apps, um, building better um, automated scripts and whatnot. And I've already taken out so many other ideas just because you're forced to. Basically, you're, you're kind of doing your own research in, in many ways, right? You're working on your own and you're figuring out how to solve your own problems. So you'll get to a point really where you know with where you're at how much more effort you need to put in to get to the level that you want you want to be right it's like after after enough years you kind of have a very good idea okay based on what i wanted to do here that's enough i can just you know work or i still need to learn more and still need to practice more so there's some areas where i know it's like okay now i'm good i can just you know develop i can just program and others where I'm like no it's still going to take me some more time and i have to get much more theory which uh again that's why i built you know my focusing app to kind of help me see where I'm at and stay, stay on target. So um, anyway, I hope uh, that helps a bit. Uh, let me know, um, give me any comments. If uh, there's anything uh, on the uh, Connected to OMS that you'd like to know more about and I'll see you in the next one.